Hi, my name is Vineet, and I'm going to show you how to install NIDAC MX API support for languages like C, C++, and C Sharp. The quickest way to get started is to go to the MioDAC setup page. So you can go to this web page that I have up here. You, can, you might already be on this page, or you can scan the QR code that might be printed on the device or on this card. And that brings you right here. And here's where you'll get the one-stop spot for all the hardware documentation and also software resources. I can click on Software and it can take me to whatever preferred software that I'd like to use for configuring my inputs and outputs and configuring my data acquisition application. In this case, you can see downloads for LabVIEW, FlexLogger, Python. But if you wanted to program in C or C++ or use the, the .NET framework, well, here's where you'd click on the Download Here link for the NIDAC MX driver software. If I click here, it takes me to where I can download the latest version of NIDAC MX. And here's where I can enable support for different APIs and the documentation and examples that go along with, with all of those. In fact, I've already gone and downloaded and installed NIDAC MX here. And after I did that, I was able to go to the National Instruments folder. And from here, scroll down and see all the, the NIDAC MX documentation and examples that have now been installed. If I click on documentation in this folder, Here's where I can get access to the full DACMX help and also the C reference help, which is a very useful resource for describing the different functions that ship and the full API and all the configuration options across different methods and property nodes. Along with that, it's also helpful to use example programs. So if I go back one folder, here I can see all the different examples. So if I double click, I can see the NCC DACMX examples that ship. I can choose the function that I'm looking for, like analog input, choose the type of measurement I want to take. And I can even go all the way down to see the exact timing that these examples are using. So there's almost 100 different examples across inputs and outputs and digital I.O. And this is a great way to get started and also customize further for your particular application needs. These are the examples for, deck for programming in C or C++. But I can also go to the .NET folders and see the different examples and documentation. If I want to use the .NET framework and program in something like Visual Basic or C Sharp. So that's the brief introduction to how you can install NIDAC MX support for the programming language of your choice.